Hi, thank you for having me today. Uh, my name is Federico Mastroeo. I work at the European Institute of Oncology in Milan. I'm a radiation oncologist and a PhD student there. During the last five years, we have been working on a collection of a series of data coming from uh, salvage radiotherapy in post prostatectomy patients. What we did was to analyze more than 1,000 patients coming from 12 different European centers. The main aim was to understand the role of Nadir PSA, so the lowest level of PSA that a patient achieved after a solid radiotherapy treatment and the time to achieve that specific PSA in Nadir. What we did was to analyze the impact of undetectable PSA, so we are talking about PSA less than 0.1, and the time to achieve that PSA, so if it was less or more than six months, we stratified in the population and we found interesting results in which undetectable PSA is a, an independent predictor of a better outcome, in particular for decent metastasis free survival and biochemical relapse free survival. So... Well, now we are working on writing the manuscripts and it has been accepted very well by the community so far the abstracts. I'm very lucky because in my institution we have many studies and many trials going on. I'm now working on two different studies in prostate cancer. One is specifically for the use of proton therapy for, for the relapse of local relapse of prostate cancer patients. Meanwhile, when I Another important study that we are working on is the possibility of proposing a third uh, session of ray radiation, so a secondary radiation and third course of radiotherapy when it comes to local recurrence uh, of prostate cancer. So this would open the possibility to new implementation to clinical practice. And of course, this kind of study has to be have important role in current literature. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.